we're going to look at dividing with decimals. We'll start first by looking at dividing a decimal number by a whole number. So imagine we need to do 149,1 divided by 7. So we're going to do it in the same way that we've always done division. Uh, the only difference here is we just got to remember to keep the comma in the right place. So we start by saying how many sevens are there in one? Well, we can't do that. So then we look at 14. How many sevens are there in 14? There are two sevens in 14 and nothing left over. So we can then go to the next number along and ask how many sevens are there in nine? Well, there's only one seven in nine, and then we have two left over, so that two needs to go over here. And then we ask ourselves, how many sevens are there in 21? And there are three sevens in 21, and so we have our answer, 21 comma 3. We can now move on to doing a decimal divided by a decimal. The first thing we're going to do is recall that we can always rewrite a division as a fraction. And then because we know that we can divide easily if we've got a whole number, what we need to do is turn the bottom of this fraction into a whole number. And we'll do this by multiplying by 10 and by 10 again. In other words, by multiplying by 100. But then we also have to multiply the top by 100 so that we keep things the same. The fraction isn't changed. And so what we will then get is at the top we will have 2, 4, 5 and at the bottom 5. Now we've got a decimal divided by a whole number which we know how to do. So we can just go ahead and do it. 5 into 2, that goes no times and you have a 2 remaining. Remaining. Then you have to say 5 into 24, that goes 4 times, and you have 4 remaining. And then you need to say 5 into 45, and that goes 9 times with no remainder. OK, try this one for yourself. Pause the video and try it now. OK, your first step should have been to rewrite it as a fraction. Then you know you need to get a whole number in the denominator, so you multiply by 10. And so you don't change things, you must do the same to the top. And so you get 578,3 divided by 2. All right, so now you've got division by a whole number, so you can do that very nicely. 2 into 5 goes twice, remainder 1. 2 into 17 goes 8 times, remainder 1. 2 into 18 goes 9 times with no remainder. Then I put my comma down. 2 into 3 goes 1 time, remainder 1. Now just remember, you can add as many zeros as you want to the end. It doesn't change the number if you've got a comma there, right? So once you've done 2 into 3 goes once, remainder 1, that 1 must pass over to there. Then you get 2 into 10 goes 5 times. And then you're obviously not going to worry with the rest of the zeros. 2 into zeros goes 0, 0, 0. So we're not going to do anything. We've got our answer, 289, 15. 